Pagod ka na ba? Kaka-cash in? Or hindi mo ba na monitor ang iyong cash in limit sa GCash? Or halos masira na yung iyong basic phone na ginagamit kakapalit ng SIM cards? If that's the case, this video is for you. My name is Ivy Krizat. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is requested by Ellie. Shout out kay Ellie. Na una na yung shout out. Ellie is from Negosya Center, Dasmarinas. Eh. Na. Nagawa ko na. Nagawa mo na. May G account ka na? Ha? Meron ka ng account sa G Save? Ha? May account ka na sa G Save? Wala pa? Pwede pahiram ng account mo? Well, I'm back from my sister's house and I've successfully registered her GCash account in GSA. Now, I'm going to teach you kung paano mag-open ng GSA account. Para lang siyang uh, nag-open kayo ng savings account. Ganun. Pero mas pinadali since nakalink siya kay GCash. On your GCash app, click the icon that says save money. Make sure you are fully verified kasi kanina I tried na basic user lang, pero hindi talaga siya nagpo-proceed. Kailangan fully verified account para magamit nyo yung save money feature ni GCash. Kung hindi, ipapa-verify niya muna ang inyong account. So, you have to provide a valid ID like uh, passport or um, UMID or SSS ID ganyan. or license. Pwede nyo yung gamit. May options naman doon. Makikita nyo naman yung and from there, you will be able to open a GSAFE account by filling out some of your personal information. After ma-provide nyo siya, you will receive a message or mag appear yung message na GSAFE Registration Success. And then, marirediret kayo doon sa GSAFE dashboard wherein makikita nyo yung mga pwede nyo gawin sa GSAFE. Example doon ay withdraw funds and then you can deposit money. You can also schedule auto deposit. And then, then yung inyong interest rate and then your account number. Then GCash will automatically send you a message that you have registered to GSAVE. So, congratulations! Meron na kayong GSAVE account na pwede niyong gamitin. Pwede kasi kayong mag-transfer ng uh, fund from your GCash account to your GSAVE account para at least maging saving siya at mag-earn din siya ng Yes, kasi of course, yung nasa main GCash account kasi nyo, yun yun yung gagamitin nyo for your transactions. And one tip na very useful, in case na you have, uh, you use, there is a feature in GCash kasi which is G-Credit. Meron ako nun, may, at para din siyang, ano, pwede, para din siyang credit line or credit card. Yun nga lang virtual siya. Meron na limits na 3,000 up to 30,000 yon. Ang limit ko doon ay 10,000. In case na short kayo sa funds, uh, make sure na walang laman yung inyong GCash account. Kasi, pag hindi nyo siya nasettle at may laman yung inyong GCash account, automatically, ide-deduct ni G-Credit doon sa inyong existing GCash account balance sa inyong wallet. So, very important si G-Save kung talagang uh, ayaw nyo pang bayaran kasi meron kayong mas importante na pagkakagastusan that month and maiisip nyo rin naman na okay lang na hindi mo na siya isettle based on your priorities of course kasi siya yung may pinakamaliit na interest or hindi naman talaga siya agad-agad nagpe-penalty para kasing may time pa siya na binibigay para siya mag-charge ng kanyang penalty. Tsaka, well, hindi ko pa naranasan na magkaroon ng late payment fee kay G-Credit. Laging in-expect ko meron akong penalty, pero wala. So, yun ang gawin nyo. Ilagay nyo muna siya sa G-Save para hindi siya makain or automatically madedock ni G-Credit from your G-Cash wallet. So, yun yun. Pip yun from me. So, congratulations! You now have your G-Save account na pwede nyo magamit for your um, other transactions. And kung hindi nyo naman talaga kailangan ng funds, maganda rin siyang savings, savings account kasi nag-earn siya ng 4% per annum. Medyo mataas na rin yung kanyang interest rate. 
if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video to your friends who might benefit from this. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Once again, this is Ivy Krizat saying bye-bye and see you again next time. Thank you for watching!